Hello, creatives. Miss Nikki here from Studio CIA Classes. I hope you're ready to be creative and use that imagination because today I'm going to show you how to draw this adorable little mouse sitting on a macaroon or maybe two or three, depending on how you want to draw it. We just need our basic supplies, pencil, eraser, paper, and I like to have two different size Sharpies, both the fine point and the ultra fine. For this drawing, we're going to go up and down so we have more room to stack cookies under our mouth. If you're going to do more than one cookie, adjust your mouth higher up on your paper. If you're only going to do one, you can have them kind of more in the middle. All right, we're going to start with our mouse itself. We're going to go through this process twice. If you've not been here before, do everything in pencil first, then we'll go back through the drawing and you can join in while I'm using my Sharpie so you can really see all the details. But this way you have a good overview of the whole process. We're gonna start with a big oval shape. And I like to have some fun little hair on my mouse. So after I draw my oval, I erase the tops and add some little like chunks of hair, almost like a little piece of grass there, <laughs> messy bedhead. Next, we're going to add the ears. Now, this mouse has pretty big ears, but almost like a letter C, forward and backwards. And then I add another little curve line in there to separate. So there's some fur at the top and then the inner ear at the bottom. And if your ears don't match perfectly, that's okay. But if it's bothering you, erase and try again. This is why we always start in pencil. You can make it exactly how you want. Now, this whole body is the mouse. So the top half will be our head and the bottom half will be his belly and feet. So we're gonna draw his little face in there. You can do any style of eye you like. And the end of these little sparkly eyes right now. I gave mine some little eyebrows. You could do eyelashes even. And a cute little nose. I did a rounded triangle shape, kind of like a kitchen nose or a puppy nose, but you could just do an oval too if you wanted. I think he's kind of happy because he's sitting on a cookie that I'm guessing he's going to eat. Next, we're going to add his little belly. You can do a circle first or just leave it a circle. I kind of sketch a circle out, but I like it to look fluffy. So I do little rainbow shapes. It just kind of gives them a little more fluffy appearance, like a cloud. And give him his little feet. He's kind of sitting on his bottom. So these are the bottom of his feet kind of tucked up and pointing to us. Toe bean at the bottom. And a couple little lines at the top for his toes. Well, I forgot to mention in the ears, I like to add a little tuft of fur there too. My cat Dave has super furry ears, so I love that about him. And I kind of have adapted adding that to every animal that I draw pretty much. All right. And then his cute tail. So that's our basic little mouse. Now to add him onto our macaroon, it's almost like a hamburger bun. Do a curve that's kind of underneath him because he's sitting on top of it. And then a little worm shape. These cookies have this cool little edge to them and they're delicious and they're colorful, almost like a clam shell. And on the bottom, we're gonna do the same thing, leaving just a little bit of room between for where the filling will go. And then a rounded shape at the bottom. For the filling, we just add a little curve here and here. And we've got an adorable little mouse on a cookie or a macaroon if you want to be fancy. <clears throat> so if you want to continue improving your drawing skills, the best thing you can do is then outline your picture. It creates muscle memory that makes us better artists all along. Another thing you can do is be sure to subscribe to our channel so you never miss an opportunity to do another drawing and get to be a super great artist, which you already are, but... We're going to go through the process again so you didn't follow along the first time. 
grab that pencil and follow along while I outline it with my thick marker that isn't super thick. It's ultra or it's a fine point. We're going to outline our mouse's body. That's step one or to draw our mouse's body. And then we're going to give him some big old ears. Have that fun fur in there. If you wanted, you could definitely switch to the skinnier marker for the hair. I did not, but you can. I am going to switch to the thinner one for our next step, which is his cute little face. Not sure why, but often my animals become boys. And I'm like, oh no, I need to do a girl one. But sometimes they just kind of tell you what they're going to be based on the expression that happens with how and where you draw the eyes, what size the eyes are in comparison to the head. Lots of little things will tell me at least if it's a boy or a girl. If you're going for a certain look, you can definitely do that. I just always start drawing and let my picture tell me what it's going to be. Definitely want to use the ultra fine for any eyelashes or eyebrows that you've added. Eyebrows. If you wanted to add eyelashes, I would add them kind of right here to give her a cute little twisty. The boys have great eyelashes too. Let me do the nose. And you'll notice I did not outline my nose right on top of my original nose because when my pencil drawing was done with my eyes, it was a little off center. So our pencil is just a guideline. Don't feel like you have to treat it like it's the law. Okay. And this little feet, I'm just gonna stick with my smaller pen. And then his belly. Again, don't be afraid to draw a circle first if you want to do it fuzzy. If I don't draw my circle first, what tends to happen is I end up with a very awkward looking circle. It, it is imperfect by far, which is okay. Nature is imperfect, but I like to have a little roadmap. We're going to give our mouse a tail. And then we're ready to add that macaroon. If you wanted to do multiple macaroons, you would go through this process again, underneath and underneath and underneath. I've had some really cool drawings from this lesson in my live virtual classes, which if you're interested in joining, check out the description below. But I have had this mouse on a tower of cookies. I've had this mouse on a cookie on a plate. I've had multiple mouses. I've had him holding it. A cookie you can do all of it it's just so fun to see what everyone comes up with and how different each person is in. but that's your little mouse on a macaroon i sure hope you enjoyed this drawing be sure to let me know by either liking or commenting below and check out some of our other drawings on our channel